Imagine that movie star in his prime, booked over decades for action movies. In fact, so many action movies that his name is synonymous for a certain genre of ultra-tough titles. Think of Bruce Willis and the Die Hard movies, for example. Now the actor tries something very different and people just don't believe it. They don't want it, they don't allow it. And that's sometimes a shame, especially in case of something as stunning as the Panerai Caranta Gold Tech, a Panerai that underlines the huge change this brand has made in the last years. But before I explain in detail what I mean, let's go over the basic specifications of the Caranta Gold Tech PAM01026 that I'd like to take here as an example to illustrate my point. We have an automatic watch with a case made of gold and a width and length of 40 millimeters, so Italian 440. The length is also 40 because of the cushion case. Height we find a smidgen under 10 and the lug width at 24 millimeters, so a very wide strap. The watch then sports a sapphire crystal, a screw down crown and has a water resistance of 50 meters. Movement is the P900, operating at a beat rate of 28,800 and offers a power reserve of 72 hours, so 3 days. It comes on a leather strap and the price is indicated with 18,500 euros, including VAT and 18,200 US dollars without VAT. And now please imagine watch fans writing in the comment section sentences like this. 50 meter water resistance for a watch that was meant as fighting equipment? Panerai, it's a shame that you give us a dive watch with only 50 meters water resistance, how dare you? Simple truth is though that the Caranta never was and never will be a dive watch. It's a 100% dress piece that is meant to be worn in an office, a Roman cafe, a post restaurant, in a boutique, opera and not underwater. Let's be honest with ourselves guys, nobody will take a soft golden watch for more than 18k into the pool leaving alone everything salty, everything deep. This watch needs a protection against tap water. But one may argue now that the Caranta follows the form of the typical Radomir watches and these were in fact military diving equipment. The case is recognizable as a Panerai in the first second so it should be something tough. But in fact it's not. This cushion form case with this wire tie blocks are a watch designed from the 20s. You found it back then on many watches as sort of a standard watch design. Today many reissues show this design again, for example this Vacheron Constantin or my Duby and Schaldenbrand Diplomatic. So the early Panerais just used an existing design and improved it in terms of water tightness. Now they are falling back because this manufacturer clearly wants to be seen as a luxury watch brand right next to Vacheron or Cartier. And like these brands Panerai is able to produce extreme beauties. The Caranta Gold Tech is in my opinion just candy. The form insane, look at these smooth angles here. There you see also the typical sandwich dial but not longer as a functional element, it's more design. And this watch really stands out, the measurements alone tell us that this thing will look very different on the wrist and that's great. And I'd like to present you this extremely expensive watch only as an example for my point that Panerai simply is not longer Arnold or Bruce. When somebody appreciates this watch there is no need to stick to the gold. There are steel Carantas available and they also deliver this unique and convincing look of a very special dress watch. But just out of curiosity let's add the information about gold tech. What is it and why does it wear that trademark sign? Easy explanation. It's an alloy of gold platinum and copper. Every manufacturer can create its own alloy and can protect it as a trademark. In this case here I suppose that platinum adds strength to the gold and copper the slightly darker look. Stunning shine for sure, precious, deep, stylish. And so as a conclusion I wish that especially watch reviewers could stop to put these Carantas in the drawer military watch. It's just the wrong place and it will make nobody happy. And that said, allow me to close this episode now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to Watch of the Week.